Pencil barrel and so this one is a proof of concept. So we have an obsession with peanut butter pretzels in this house. In the last year, we've gone through a barrel a month. So we have a lot of these barrels <laughs> yeah, that it, used to contain peanut butter pretzels. Yep. We kept them because we thought <laughs> they have to be useful for something. And they were useful for things. Yeah, so we have a collection of these pretzel barrels and it's gotten a little out of hand. <laughs> so we had to use them for something. Spray paint the inside wet and color on them and put and a light in them. So this was the, the first one and I have a well-established obsession with sock monkeys. So I went with drawing sock monkeys because it's quick and easy. So the first step is drawing the design with Sharpie and if I needed to erase, I could use the paper towel has rubbing alcohol on it. So it dissolves the Sharpie. And it's the same process that we used when we did our faux stained glass window on the window, I had spritzed the marker with uh, rubbing alcohol and it sort of left a cool texture, but on the pretzel barrels, it was a, a more extreme texture for sure, <laughs> which is great if that's what you're after, but I wasn't so sure. And then I traced everything with Posca pens. So anywhere where the Posca pen is, isn't going to be translucent. So we're gonna put lights in these eventually and they'll glow in all the colors where the alcohol markers are, but the Posca pens are opaque. So that part isn't gonna glow. There was a dramatic change in the monkey's color just there because I spray painted the inside white. I had originally used clear coat and it just kind of frosted it, but it wasn't diffusing the light enough. You could see the light source, so we ended up spraying white paint inside of the pretzel barrel. You have to make sure that you get even coverage and do it really lightly. You don't want any thick spots because then those become opaque and block the light. So you just kind of tip it on its side and real lightly mist it. And that's all you have to do. So I'm doing my fishy and Ty's doing flowers and mushrooms and clouds. Let's talk about Tyler's hair. <laughs> because Tyler's hair features prominently in this footage and Ty has a lot of hair and I feel like we spend a lot of time trying to wrangle your hair because it's so thick and it's so crazy and it wants to escape your head constantly. It's just like everywhere and it's been that way since you were a teeny tiny child. Hair everywhere all the time. I don't know why I decided to do all of the little petals because it was a pain to color in and draw. Yeah, you really made it hard on yourself because all of your details are on that bottom little chunk where it's got all the curves and ridges and it's really hard to draw on that part. All those little beautiful mushrooms. You took your time and it worked out really well, but man, that is a tough, tough zone to draw on. Sam's got her fishies to match her ocean room. Our little fish girl. Ocean! <laughs> Sam's obsessed with oceans, Ty's obsessed with mushrooms, and I'm obsessed with sock monkeys and bugs, apparently. <laughs> I like the dark top you added. Yeah, yeah I did that completely on accident. I was like, oh, this looks like a nice light color, and then I actually started drawing, but then it ended up being super dark, so I switched to another color, and it ended up being pretty much the same. So I got some of the rubbing alcohol and picked up some of the color from the parts that I've already colored and just painted that. You had a little plate of rubbing alcohol and a paintbrush and you basically just painted with the rubbing alcohol and picked up the paint like watercolor from the top, <laughs> the dark part. Yeah, it ended up being a real nice fade. This time it's not just bugs under a microscope. This time it's alive bugs, yay. <laughs> so this one, I laid it out in Photoshop. So this is a bunch of photographs of bugs and flowers that I just sort of slapped together. I measured the barrel and then I printed the outlines of the layout in the appropriate size and shoved it into the barrel. 
So once I shoved the paper in, then I could just trace the layout with the Sharpie and then color it uh, as usual. I was trying to do some kind of fading and shading and stuff on this one. So I found that I could, you know, scribble a couple of different colors next to each other and I could blend them with each other in a similar way to the way that it works on paper, but it was a little bit streakier. So eventually I started using my finger to blend and that seemed to work pretty well. Those flowers on the bottom look like popcorn, but they're flowers. The, <laughs> the yellow and white ones, they're a little lumpy, bumpy. Popcorn flowers. Mm -hmm. So I've got butterflies and beetles, and again, I'm using Posca pens for the outlines, and I'm making them nice and chunky, and that part will be opaque when there's light inside. All the Posca pen stuff will be opaque. This one, I did a lot of highlights. I did a little bit on the monkeys with Posca pens, but this one, I did a bunch, and I had to be careful where I was putting the highlights because those were gonna be opaque, and I didn't need the highlight parts to not light up when it was lit at night. So I made sure that all of my highlights were really close to the edges or on top of the black Posca pen so that it wouldn't end up making weird shapes <laughs> when it was backlit. So here's the before. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the after. It's kind of close up. I like the yellow background. There's your fishy. I love the love fishies and the little whale that wraps over the top. So Wait. cute. Oh, I love fishies. <laughs> uh, mine is a super fast fishy. I think the watercolor technique worked really well in the sky. And here's my bugs. I did some swirlies in the blue because when it's backlit, it's pretty. And here the sun's going down. They're pretty in the daytime, but look at them at night. Ooh. <laughs> I think they turned out really well. <laughs> It'd be really nice in the middle of a table at night if you were hanging out outside having a nighttime picnic. <laughs> They're just enough light to kind of light up a table. We used some LED battery powered under cabinet lights, so they're just little pucks that are in there and they're just sitting on the lids, shining up, and the remote control, so I can turn them all off and on without getting in there. I love them. I think they turned out so, so cute. Apparently I'm really good at peeling off stickers without getting any of the paper. Yeah, if you want to do this, you need a Tyler in your house to, <laughs> to peel the labels off of the pretzel barrels because I made a mess of it and she got them every time. 